I to a man extent, but we all lived there to the whole little black exiled boys live right in a little black name we called Maddox Town. And we had a boy there and his name was Clarence Graves. That was his real name. But back in them days, everybody had a nickname. They didn't call you by your name, they called you by your nickname all the time. So every time Clarence would get on a, a uh, get on a horse and go to the track, go around, his shirt tail will come out of his pants and be flopping in the wind. So they nicknamed him shirt tail. He said, there goes one shirt tail, his tail <laughs> flopping in the wind again. <laughs> so that's how he got the name shirt tail. But to make a long story short, <clears throat> I'm the one who got shirt tail's job. Because shirt tail was always late <laughs> coming to work on a job. So I kept asking the, uh, the man that they run the, the farm out there, the Brick the Yellow, said, could I get a job? He said, we fill up. He said, but soon, if something get an opening, I'll put you to work. But church Hill was always late. <laughs> so I come to work, or come out to ask him for another, and church Hill was late. He said, Gene, go in there and get on church Hill's hall. <laughs> he won't give you a I'm going to see if you can ride church Hill's hall. So I went and got on church Hill's hall, and church Hill, Come whistling the hop over the fence, whistling. And Mr. White told him, said, Well, church tail, you can go on back home now. You got a replacement. And that was me. That's how I got my first job at Elsa Meat Farm, working for Cyrus D. White. 